boys and girls. Yep, it up, Pepper Woo! Lab. Today, I'm going down, <laughs> going down a river. There is the flotilla behind me. Woo! I brought a little ice fishing rod. Yes. And, uh, a little jig on there. And I'm gonna see if I can catch something along the way. This is about a four-hour tube. So far, no fishies, but. Check out the flotilla. I'm loving it out here. So, interesting development. I've managed to uh, break my oars. So, yeah. Still haven't caught any fish. Still enjoying my day with my beautiful bride. There's the bobber. Not bobbing. Oh, the rafting was fun. But, uh didn't manage to catch any fish that time so it is what it is um now we're gonna take a gander through mama alberta pepper's uh, garden and yard and etc so mama alberta pepper is working on setting up straw bales and these are some of her squashes zucchini there i'm corrected that is zucchini spaghetti squash in the platter you built me this is spaghetti squash. Uh, looks like she has some dill over here. And then behind, oh, there is a Thessy cameo. And then behind us here, this bed is actually in the shape of a Star of David. Even though she's not Jewish, she still likes the geometry of it. So it's actually enabled her to have like a whole bunch of flower beds where she could grow different things in there, which is really Really nice. I wish I could get a better view of that for you guys. Over there, she has another greenhouse. And over on this side, yes, there's more things in here, more squashes and zucchinis and uh, really pretty flower. Um, <clears throat> but what's what I love about this place is her orchard. So right there, that is a Saskatoon tree. Right there is a huscat bush. Right here is another huscat bush. And over here, this is another Saskatoon tree. And there is, of course, raspberries all around here as well. I do believe that we have a big cherry tree here. And once again, you can kind of see that star a little bit better. Uh, these are her hay bales right there. And there's, uh, there's a few more up there hiding over there, but she's really big into the flowers. As you guys can tell, plenty of pretty, pretty flowers. So I'll get out of your way. Say, say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. Okay. So this is her greenhouse. As you guys can see, it is much, much more lush than mine. This is beautiful in here, and the smell of tomatoes is overwhelming. All right, so let's move along to those other hay bales. Now, these hay bales here are not really doing too much. Uh, she did tell me it is because of the uh, the lack of sun that they get. Um, during a large portion of the day they're in shade. So she's going to try some uh, leafier greens in here next year and probably do much much better. So we've got tomatoes and stuff. Um, over here is another raspberry patch. And those trees right there that are uh, kind of blocking off her house, giving her a bunch of privacy, is um, uh, is a li is actually two lilac trees, which are absolutely beautiful for a couple weeks of the year. Okay, let's move along to the side of the house, and we will see what she has growing on. Here's a little patio area. Here's her back porch with a bunch of flowers all around it and stuff. Um, guys, don't ask me to identify almost any of these flowers because 
I'm not much of a flower guy. Looks like we got some kale in there, uh, some type of uh, lettuce, chives. There's her uh, beautiful rhubarb. She makes an amazing rhubarb pie. Okay, and then this climbing thing here apparently will bloom and be very, very beautiful. I want to say lilies, but I don't think so. Another thing that I don't know what it is. And guys, if you look at this leaf, don't get confused. It's not a pot leaf. It's quite similar. I got a kick out of that. My mother is growing that. Um, <laughs> okay, so moving along to the front of the hose, here's her porch. Um, my mother has a beautiful front yard. Uh, you just follow this pathway and you can look at it and see it in all of its glory. If I just kind of back up over here and let you guys take a gander and soak in all of that. At that stump there, I actually hollowed out for her one year and now she plants flowers in it. These rocks were hauled out from rock pits by her and I when I was younger. Over here, Mama Pepper, what 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 kind of uh, bush is this? That's Portilla. Portilla. And this is a Hell's Bane garden. They're quite popular in the States where you dig up the boulevard and you get a privacy screen and you can put more bushes in. That's Cranberry, Point Homeland. Up there. And over here, is this another Portilla? Yeah. That's a Portilla. That's a portilla. And this is a portilla. And that's a black currant. I had to plant it too ah, close. And but. here is her black currant planted too close to uh, the portilla, but hopefully. The only place um, I had to put one. Hopefully, it will uh, be able to produce some, uh, some nice berries for her. And so I just absolutely love her yard. Absolutely love it. It's tiered up. You, you, you can see that there's bricks around and stuff like that, stepping stones and stuff like that to wander through here just absolutely beautiful and, favorite hosta. and her favorite hosta is that one with the lotharia right there and there's a hell's bane over here so what are these plants um again, i recognize the common thistle <laughs> <laughs> the daisy and of course another cranberry so we got a cranberry and daisies. I don't remember you ever harvesting cranberries. Oh, I have. Oh, okay. Now, now it's worthwhile. And here's my rose bush. And you can take the rose petals and make a fabulous body lotion. Okay. And uh, all right. Well. And again, you can see I'm lucky. I have very kind neighbors who have allowed this. <laughs> yeah. Well, that about does it. Say hello to YouTube, wifey. Hello. So here we are picking these wonderful Saskatoons. And that is the main reason we're here. This tree is loaded with beautiful, tasty, yummy Saskatoon berries. So I'm gonna collect a whole crap ton of this stuff and make some things. JT Bear was picking Saskatoons the other day uh -huh. and he was saying one for the pot one and for two for me oh. <laughs> and that's and that's a lot better than what I have which <laughs> is one for the pot and one for me yep. picking berries picking picking <sighs> picking okay so this is our harvest. There's my hand. I don't have small mitts either, so they're uh, pretty, pretty big. There's a lot of them. These are uh, Saskatoons, which are absolutely super duper delicious. This small bowl here are uh, called huscap berries, and they're kind of uh, small and oval shaped like this. And they're kind of a softer, almost velvety texture to them. They have a slightly bitter taste, but also um, also sweet at the same time, which is kind of interesting. Uh, this type of berry was created in um, Siberia, and 
it is capable of living through harsh winters. So people in northern climates can grow these and uh, have quite a selection of berries. So that is what we did. Hour and a half. In an hour and a half. So that about does it for my mom's place. And that about does it for this video. So hope you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.